Hello friends, our coding task is to calculate the sum of two numbers. We'll take the following steps. Start the program. Prompt the user to enter the first number. Read the input and store it in a variable. Prompt the user to enter the second number. Read the input and store it in another variable. Calculate the sum of the two numbers. Display the sum to the user. End the program. Here is the line by line explanation of the code. Include stdioh. This line is a preprocessor directive that tells the compiler to include the standard input output library, which provides functions for input and output operations in C. Int main. This is the beginning of the main function, which is the entry point of the program. It is of type int, indicating that it returns an integer value. Int num1, num2, sum. This line declares three integer variables named num1, num2, and sum. These variables will be used to store the input numbers and their sum. Print enter the first number. This line uses the print function to display a message asking the user to enter the first number. It is a way to output text to the console. Scan t. No. This line uses the scan function to read an integer input from the user and store it in the variable num1. The D format specifier is used to specify that an integer value is expected. Print enter the second number. This line displays a message asking the user to enter the second number. Scan t. No. This line reads an integer input from the user and stores it in the variable num2. Sum equals num1 plus num2. This line calculates the sum of the variables num1 and num2 and assigns the result to the variable sum. Print the sum of t and d is tn. Num1, num2, sum. This line displays the result using the print function. The D format specifiers are used to indicate the positions where the values of num1, num2, and sum should be inserted in the output. Return 0. This line indicates the end of the main function and returns the value 0 to the operating system, indicating successful program execution. We have tested this program against a sample input. With this, we end our code.